So our goal going forward now is to make this as easy as possible to write out. At the moment, this is fine, but we can do a little bit better with the help of mix-ins. So I'm going to create a mix-ins file within my styles directory. So we'll call this mixins.scss. And the goal of two of our mixins, or the only two mixins that we're going to be writing here, are to automatically output a element and automatically output a modifier based on the name of our block. So if that doesn't make too much sense, don't worry. We'll see how this works in just a moment. So let's define out our mixins. So mixin. And we're going to call this E for element. So this works just like a function, really. We can pass something in, and then we can output some CSS. So here, what we're going to do is essentially create a shortcut for what we have done here. So let's just get rid of our modifier quickly. You can see that all we're doing here is we're saying, well, we want this to take the root name. We want to have two underscores, and we want then the element name. But really having to write this out over and over again, sometimes it can get a little bit tricky to have to keep writing this. And we want to reduce the speed of development as much as possible. So by calling E and passing in our element name, the actual name of the element we want this to be, so in our case it would be list item, we can then just output the CSS that we've already seen. So we just do a ampersand to take the root element, and then we just go and we pull in the name of the element here. So that's just how that looks. And then we say, pull in that content. OK, so let's test this out and see how it makes our app.scss file look. So rather than have this, what we can now do is we can include, so we can use at include e item, and then we can write our styles. So margin bottom 0. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could call this element. And now what's happening is you're seeing list and then you're seeing the word element. So it makes it a little bit clearer. And of course, what you're not then having to do is write out ampersand underscore underscore item every single time you want to create a new element. You just use E or if you want to call it element, that's fine. So now we can implement a modifier. So we can do exactly the same thing here. So we'll just copy this to save a little bit of time. And we'll call this M. We'll say modifier. We'll call this modifier. And then all we do is replace these with a dash dash. So now we can do what we did before. So inside of here, we can include our modifier. We can call this last. And then we could say we want the margin bottom for the last element to be zero. So there we go. We've got our block at the top, which is pretty self-explanatory. Then we've got our element, and then we have our modifier. And of course, we could use the modifier within here as well if we wanted to change the overall style of the top list. So there we go. Let's take a look at app.css. And of course, what we've not done is included this within here. So make sure you do that. So this is just make sense. OK, so over in app.css then, we now see exactly the same thing. We've got a flat file, we've got our block, we've got our item, and we've got our item modifier. And of course, heading over to the browser, this looks exactly the same. And I think we set the margin bottom there to zero. So we can change that. We see it looks exactly the same now. So we can now see that we've made this easier to read we have reduced the amount of code we have to write, or at least the amount of tricky code like this that we have to write. And we don't even have to think about it now. We can just use E, or if you've decided to call it element, you can use that as well. But going even further, obviously at the moment we're using the SCSS syntax. If we use the SAS syntax, this becomes much cleaner. And it will be so clean, in fact, that it will be very quick to write really easy to look at. So let's jump over to the next video and we'll look at switching this out for the SAS syntax.